Hey traders, this is Mike Sir here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, many of you have seen me analyze stock charts utilizing candlestick charts. They are my favorite type of charts as it gives me a clear insight as to the price behavior of the stock that I'm looking at. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three candlestick chart patterns that I use on a daily basis to identify opportunities in the stock market. And I'll show you how I use them. So let's get started. So first off, for those who are new to candlestick chart analysis, let me explain to you what candlestick charts are. It's a chart that's used to give a visual representation of what happened to the price movement of a stock or a financial instrument in a given period of time. Now I mentioned in previous videos, trading is often dictated by emotion and you can read the emotions of traders in the candlestick chart. Let me first explain how to read a candlestick chart. Now there are four price components to a candlestick chart and they are open price, closed price, low price, and high price. The open price shows where the stock opened at for that period. The closed price shows where the stock closed at for that period. The low price shows the lowest price for that period and the high price shows the highest price for that period. The candlestick has a Y part which is called the body and represents the price range between the open and close of that day's trading. In addition, there's a line found on the candle called a shadow or a wick, and this illustrates the highest and lowest prices. So how do you interpret these prices? Now, if the close price is higher than the open price, then the color of the candlestick chart is typically white or green, depending on your charting software. Now, this means that at that given time period, the buyers are in control. However, if the close price is lower than the open price, then the color of the candlestick chart is typically black or red, again, depending on your charting software. And this means that given this time period, the sellers are in control. So you can see that each candle is an individual battle that is fought between the buyers, who we call the bulls, and the sellers, who we call the bears. And the biggest benefit in utilizing candlestick charts is knowing who is in control in each candle. Is it the buyers or the sellers? And by knowing who is in control, you can decide what to do next. So for example, you can forecast where the price will move up or down or help you gain a clearer understanding of when a reversal might take place. So let me show you how next. While the candlestick colors can tell you who is in control, they do form patterns that you can use for analysis and help forecast future price movements. Now, candlestick charts are separated into bullish and bearish. Bullish patterns indicate the price is likely to rise, while bearish patterns indicate that the price is likely to fall. Now, while there are hundreds of candlestick patterns out there, I'm gonna just cover three candlestick patterns for you to get started. The first candlestick pattern that I wanna share with you is called the hammer, and this is a bullish pattern. The hammer candlestick pattern occurs when a stock trades significantly lower than its open price, but recovers substantially within the period to close near the open price or higher. And this is meant to suggest that initially sellers were in control that were pushing prices lower, but strong buyers came in to absorb all the selling pressure and drive prices back up. And this might be telling traders that the stock is trying to find a bottom. Now, based on the visuals, this pattern looks like a hammer in which the lower shadow is at least twice the size of the real body. Also, a hammer formation generally occurs after a prolonged price decline and is meant to signal a price reversal. However, the price must start moving up following the hammer pattern to confirm the price reversal. Now, let me show you guys an example. Here's a chart of Apple and you can see right here this is a hammer right here. And what basically what it did is it appeared after a prolonged decline. You can see right there, it's been dropping, dropping. And then you can see the hammer appear. Now, people will ask me whether the candle should be red or green. It doesn't matter. It, the key is this, basically this long tail right here. And the confirmation, you can see that the next day it gapped up, um, had a green candle, confirmed that this uh, was a hammer. Before I share another candlestick pattern with you, Please stick around to the end of the video as I randomly pick several charts, analyze the candlestick patterns, and tell you what price direction it's going to go towards. Okay, let's talk about the second candlestick pattern that I look for, and it's called the doji. Doji in Japanese means no change or same. 
So when a doji candlestick appears, it means that the open and close price are the same for a given time period. Now visually, a doji candlestick pattern looks like a cross or a plus sign and by itself is considered a neutral pattern. It represents indecision on both the side of the buyers as well as the sellers and the price goes nowhere. However, depending on when the doji appears in the pattern, it can signal a price reversal. So let me show you guys another example. Here's a chart of AMC Entertainment Holdings. And in this chart, I want to show you two examples of a doji. So you can see a doji right here. It's been going up, going up, going up. You see a doji and then signal a potential reversal and you see it go down, right? You can see all the red. And then you can see a doji here right at the end of a prolonged downtrend. And you can see some basing here, basing here, and then reversal. Let's talk about the next candlestick pattern that I look for, and it's called engulfing pattern. Now there are two types of engulfing patterns. One is called bullish engulfing pattern, while the other is called bearish engulfing pattern. Now bullish engulfing pattern is a two candlestick pattern that forms when a small black or red candlestick is followed by the next time period by a large white or green candlestick where the body of it completely overlaps or engulfs the body of the previous time period's candlestick. Now this pattern indicates that buyers have taken control and depending on where the candlestick pattern appears in the chart, it could signal a potential price reversal or a continuation of a powerful uptrend. Now let me show you guys an example. Here's a chart of JP Morgan Chase and you can look right here. This is the bullish engulfing candle. Uh, you can see here, especially since it's been falling, falling, and you can see two red candles here, and then the green candlestick completely engulf the red candle. Now there's no confirmation until right here when it goes above the highs of this green candle, and then afterwards it goes much higher. For the bearish engulfing pattern, it's the opposite where it consists of a white or green candlestick followed by a large black or red candlestick that completely engulfs the smaller candle. Now this pattern shows that the sellers have overtaken the buyers and are pushing the price more aggressively down. Let me show you an example. Here's a chart of BlackBerry and you can see a bearish engulfing pattern right here. You can see the price has been really, really strong. You can see this big green candle here and then green candle and then suddenly a big, big red candle that basically covers the green candle. And then you can see afterwards the confirmation of it going lower. Before I share some examples of candlestick patterns, please take a moment to like this video. I would really appreciate your support. Okay, let's choose some random charts and try to find some candlestick patterns. Now, just a quick note that candlestick patterns tend to work best for longer time period charts, such as daily charts. And one important note about candlestick patterns that many people complain about is they give a lot of false signals. So for example, you might see a hammer appear and then suddenly you think, oh, it's a price reversal to the upside. But then the next day you see that the price actually did not move up or down. So what you need to keep in mind is the context of when the candlestick pattern appears, as well as utilize the other technical tools that I've been teaching you guys. Now candlestick patterns are not the holy grail. Now having said that, let's look at some candlestick patterns together. Here's a chart of Microsoft. And what I see here is a potential doji pattern right here. And also you can see that uh, there was actually another doji pattern here as well, but there was no confirmation, but it kept going higher. So when you see, and again, another doji, another doji. So there's quite a several doji patterns that are warning that the stock actually might go lower. So let's take a look at some of the other indicators. Uh, if you look at the RSI, it's very, very overbought. Uh, momentum MACD basically is sh still showing that it's uh, still going up. So no confirmation yet. And again, uh, one thing I didn't do here was draw a trend line here, extending it out here again. So the trend up trend is still uh, intact, but uh, the fact that there's so many doji patterns appearing indicates that at some point uh, uh, this price uh, will go down. Here's a chart of Oxygen. And what I see here is a bearish engulfing pattern. You can see it rise, 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 right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five green candles in a row and a big, large red candle followed by heavy volume. You can see the RSI was again before a very, very overbought. Now it's uh, 64, so a little bit 
uh, neutral. Uh, the MACD is still indicating that the momentum is still up. So again, the, if you look at all the factors, uh, it looks like there's a possibility for a downward movement. Uh, but again, if you draw a trend line here, extending it out, uh, we still have to wait for confirmation. But again, this is a warning sign that uh, with this bearish engulfing pattern that this stock might head lower. Here's a chart of Raytheon Technologies Corporation. And you can see right here, this is a bullish engulfing pattern. You can see that this green candle covers this red candlestick. And you can see that the stock actually has been going down. In terms of the RSI, it's around 50, so it's quite neutral. Uh, what's concerning is the MACD is still a negative momentum. However, you can see this candlestick right here is actually indicating the negative momentum is actually slowing down. So if you look at this overall pattern, uh, yeah, it looks like it may be potentially reversing, but we definitely need to see more confirmation. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to watch other videos where I show you all the tools that I use on a daily basis to analyze the financial markets, please click on the left for more videos and click on the right for the full playlist. I'll see you in the next video.